Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, today I am going to do a flip through on the uh, Botanical Grunge Junk Journal. Uh, if you've watched my series you'll see how this was all put together. Um, this is the front and um, the journal has uh, 40 pages um, both sides. Um, yeah, so it has um, 20 I don't know what it's got, 20 paper, papers uh, times four. <laughs> so I, think, I don't know what that is, 80 pages. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I put, I sewed it together with a um, kind of a different uh, style of uh, binding. I didn't do the three uh, hole or five. I just went and kind of did it like a long stitch. And then I left the um, uh, cord, this is, um, waxed uh, cord and then I added beads to that on each end so in reality this is could could be completely removed um, if you wanted to take the book apart or add to it or something then on the front I just took a button and covered it and then I tied around like we do the policy um, envelope and that's the closure for the book on this one for the journal so uh, and that just hangs there and this is a, a little charm it I think it's a bug but it was just perfect for the color and everything it's um, got this little purple stone on it and green it, it just looks good okay so let's open this up and this is the first page here this is the inside cover I didn't put a pocket because I just liked the way um, it looked I didn't want to cut it off halfway uh, this is the first page here, which I love the birds, and I decided there was nothing that I wanted to cover those up with. I wanted to keep it. I just thought it looked nice. Hopefully I'm in camera here. That seems like, oh, uh, I need to go lower, not higher. Um, then here's a journaling page. Uh, this page here is all coffee dyed, and it's um, a journaling page. Actually, it's tea dyed. I always say that. Um, Here's another journal page. This page here, um, this uh, book actually um, has enough space with the tie that you can add uh, your own photographs, your own, uh, maybe you received a thank you note or something like that, a card, and you want to put it in your journal. I know I do. I put all mine in my journals, all my um, cards from my uh, subscribers and things, friends, whatever the case may be. There's another page for journaling. All these pages were like ripped um, at the top or bottom or both. This one here is ripped in this corner so that page shows through. Uh, this is the um, paper for um, the green uh, painter's tape paper. Uh, here's a little um, corner pocket style and it has this tag in it. And inside there is a journal uh, little booklet and I thought that came out cute and then another journaling spot here and then here's a little tuck and I put a card in here and I put this little tiny I I'm gonna call it a notebook it's just a piece of paper folded in half and I put a, a sticker on there and I, I cut off the top of this and I put it down here because I it was a fancy top and I just didn't really want it to be that tall, but I wanted to use it. Um, then this page is ripped here. Another coffee uh, stained on that side. This is one of the little collages we made with the um, vellum paper in the background. I just put that on the doily. Uh, this doily was wax too. Um, I melted wax. Um, with my iron on top of the doily and that's um, kind of gives it a nice feel. Uh, here's another blank page. Well, it's a kit page, um, but it's you could put another pocket on there if you'd like. But all the kit pages are from, um, oh, hold on, let me see if I can, no I didn't, I had it written up here and now I put it away. It's in my link. It's in my description. Her um, site. Uh, inside here is a little journal card. Inside this pocket here, 
and then another page that you can uh, they were so pretty I didn't want to cover them up they just I just didn't want to cover that um, okay here's another little book that we made this one on um, I think on camera and I put some netting inside there it, this was a uh, like a card that you could put your own picture in and I just put that in there and then inside here is a pocket that I've sewed around and over here is a journaling spot and then over here is a tuck uh, for another journal card here that was from the kit I know it's curiosities that but I can't remember the first uh, part of it oh gosh I don't know why I'm not ever prepared when I do this uh, this is like baking paper it, it could be um, uh, tracing paper I'm not sure um, here's another page that's uh, fairly empty and I feel like you can journal on that because it's not that dark this was just I took some book pages that were laying on my desk after I ripped uh, and um, I just sewed it together and then I put this little frame and a little picture inside of there um, yeah it was just the leftovers from the book pages I didn't even care if they were this one is upside down I didn't care um, another page for journaling two pages this is just a little um, journal spot in here. You could put another pocket on here if you'd like. Here's a pocket here, like a library pocket. And I just put this journal card in there. Oh, I should. I need to uh, stamp around the back or something. I didn't do that. I always find one that I didn't finish. Here's This is from a, uh, a book on uh, flowers that I took out, a little catalog. Uh, this is... Um, just notebook paper that I bought a um, I don't know it was uh, you know like a one of those little notebooks and I I like the green stripe pages uh, this is an Edith Holden page here and it's folded in so that you can see the whole page uh, this is straw paper more um, kit page this is the center of the book now you can see the stitching now see this kind of pulls out a little bit but it's just easy to pull it and tighten it I could have glued it I don't know I'm gonna leave it for now um, a couple little tucks in here this is from the kit and then this is Artie Mae's uh, dragonfly uh, kit specimen kit and I just uh, made this a journal spot here and the same over here so um, there's a tuck here too if I want to go back and put something in that um, here's another um, one of those collages we made with the uh, vellum in the back uh, with the frame picture frame around it and I made a little flip here so I've got this little pocket here with a journal card in there and that just slides right there and then this is um, just the, the picture there. Uh, this is some of the paper that I got from um, Stationery Pal. Uh, they were just sheets of paper about this size, a little bit bigger. And um, they're really kind of nice to have because you can just throw them on the back of an envelope real quick. Here's a journal card that I have um, sewn around and put a backing on that. And then we've got this part, uh, the front here. And then back here, this is the envelope that I covered. Um, and then I have uh, journal cards stuck in this little pocket here. Okay. Then this is the other side of the um, Edith Holden over here. There's the other side of that. And the other side of the uh, flowers from the uh, flower book. And then here we have a, a pocket here. And... Um, two um, tags and I put the large eyelets in these tags and I didn't put anything on the top I thought I would just leave them plain and that's the other side of here I put a little bit of lace on the edge of that here's another flip out pocket and it has a journal card in here and then we have this uh, blank page and this one for journaling uh, more of that tissue on this side and this is the straw paper there's two different straw papers in here one is a darker color and this one here is a lighter straw paper and this is a more of a gold uh, straw paper 
um, I got this from uh, Camellia's Crafts, uh, Camellia's Craft Designs. Um, she's in uh, the UK, and it was shipped here, and it wasn't very expensive at all. In, in re you know, in just to get it, I mean, it's hard to get in the United States. Uh, here's another kit page again. This is a little uh, flap here with the journal card inside here, and uh, journaling space on the back of that. I know I'm going kind of fast. I just want to make this short. And then here I put in um, just a little um, page out of a, uh, it's a, a book that I have that I copied uh, this page. It's a vintage, um, I thought I had two pages in there. That's what's why I'm looking twice. Um, this here was in the kit and it's little, um, uh, uh, index cards and I just put them a ring uh, here on each on the ends and then oh that was supposed to be over um, where was that supposed to be one two three I don't know anyway um, but you can write on the back of those and I just clipped it on here like that and then here we have another uh, um, page of the kit Doily on this side, another um, journaling spot, and a page back here. This little guy here, um, I made this kind of at the last minute. Um, this was scrapbook paper that I had, and I put this leaf charm here to hold it um, together. So this just undoes, undoes. Uh, you open it just like this, you just wrap it around like this, and it goes the other way evidently but anyway uh, so then this opens up here and there's a pocket in here with a journal card on the on this pocket this is the front and then you open it here and there's a pocket here with a now what I did was I kind of made this look like a specimen type thing it's um, it's uh, velcro uh, not velcro uh, vellum but um, and I just cover, I just put black cardstock uh, on each side and made it look like a like kind of like a negative. And then here I have um, just a tag that I've sewn around here. And then this opens up, and I have another one here in the center um, pocket. So you can't really journal on it or anything unless you have a white pen. You could. This one um, actually has some. Uh, um, a little bit of glue that I should have I think I'll have to put something over that I thought it was gonna dry completely clear but that's the problem with black it doesn't want to dry um, so then I had another one and I had a few of these and I just made a cover for the a little notebook to um, slip inside this uh, section so that all closes like that and that and then you flip it over and there's another pocket in the back and it also has a journal spot here and it has a little journal card up here now I'm going to show you how to make these uh, this little folder but I will do it um, in a in a couple weeks or in May sometime maybe the first around the first of May uh, project that I've got that I'm going to do and I want to use this in that project so, anyhow, um, I s got this idea from uh, Camellia's Crafts, uh, Craft Design, Julia. Uh, if you want, you can run over there and take a look at it. Um, I don't know exactly what video it was, but it's called the Seven Pocket Mini Folder, I think. But I have put this, um, co this corner pocket on, and it was a, it's the type with the flaps on the inside, and it was just so... Um, big that I had to make something big to put in it so that's what I did and then more paper here more journaling plenty of journaling space in here and room to put more stuff and then I put my little stamp right there and then this is the back so that's it um, the back I did nothing I just left that um, Indian style quilt in the back and then this just goes around Oh, I forgot I'm so used to going all the way around it just goes around I just do it one time and then do it here a couple times 
um, but see how much room you would have left over with this little charm here, little charm off of here. I don't know if I have any more charms, but anyway, so um, this will be available in the um, description. It'll give you um, where to um, go if you're interested in purchasing. Okay, so you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.